Namaste. I am Balaganapati Devarakonda, presently teaching philosophy at University of Delhi. I am here to introduce the course Methods and Problems of Philosophy, which is being offered through this mode. Knowledge, in general, if we try to understand, for the sake of teaching, study and research, is divided into various branches, which are termed often as disciplines. And each of these disciplines have their own methodology or probably methodologies and also problems that it tries to address. Knowing or understanding these methodologies and problems that it addresses would be a, an advanced way of learning the discipline than the historical mode which is also a very popular one through which we try to introduce a discipline in the regular classroom mode. And the present course is in fact an attempt to introduce philosophy to uh, advanced learners by addressing methods and problems that it tries to articulate as well as uh, speculate. And with this motive, we are offering this course. We are not saying that we resort to a kind of methodological monism in the sense that there is only one methodology that a particular discipline tries to adapt or adopt. In fact, every discipline may have many methodologies that it tries to adopt and also use in the course of addressing the problems that it tries to solve or speculate upon. From the classical times, both in India and in the West, there are various methods that the philosophers have adapted to address the problems that they are trying to deal with. In India, we have uh, various kinds of methods and some of the methods could be like uh, Shankara's Advaitin model of method and we also have a Buddhist model of uh, methodology and similarly we also have Marxist model of dialectical materialist model that we have. Along with these we also have a model that has developed in the recent past as a comparative method. So these methods would be discussed in the course of uh, uh, the discussion during these days. Along with the methods, we also deal with problems in the course. And as we understand, there are various philosophical problems that philosophers since ancient Greek times in the West and ancient Vedic times in the East in India have been trying to grapple with. And obviously, we cannot complete or we cannot include all the problems that philosophers have grappled with in the, co in the span of a short course. So we would be limiting ourselves to certain problems of certain specialized branches of philosophy in this course. For instance, we would start probably with theory of knowledge, which is epistemology. In the course, we would be dealing with problems of Indian epistemology, largely we would be dividing it into two categories and in the first category we would be discussing Nyaya epistemology, problems that are related to the epistemological understanding of uh, Nyaya and then we would be in the subsequent part dealing with uh, non-Vedic schools epistemology. So this is what comprises of uh, uh, the problems that we would be dealing with within Indian epistemology. Along with this Indian epistemology, we also would be dealing with in the subsequent part the problems of language. And problems of language we deal with uh, within this perspective of problems of language, we deal with the context theory of meaning. In addition to this theory of knowledge, problems of theory of knowledge, in the subsequent part we try to include uh, problem of meaning, problem of language, problem of theory of language. Along with this Indian theories of knowledge, we would also be discussing metaphysical problems that exist in philosophy, both in India and the West. One of the most prominent problems that exists 
within the metaphysical discourse is the debate between idealism and realism. We would be discussing the problems involved in the debate between idealism and realism in the West as well as in the East, I mean India in the course of the discussion and these two form two modules of the present course that we have. The other important aspect that we must deal with and obviously with which we would be dealing with in this course is ethics or moral philosophy and we would be discussing this uh, the problems that are involved in uh, ethics from both Indian perspective as well as Western perspective of course by giving only a representative sampling. Within Indian ethics we would be dealing with Purushardhas, the problem of Purushardhas as well as uh, the problems that early Buddhist ethics tries to address from the Indian perspective. And from the Western perspective, we would be dealing with moral pluralism as well as other moral theories which are very prominent in the Western ethical discourse such as virtue ethics, utilitarian ethics and Kantian ethics representing deontology along with the normative ethics as well as uh, applied ethics would be dealt with in the course of this discussion. If we are discussing ethics, we also have to get into social and political philosophy as well. Social and political problems are intricately related to ethical problems. That is how one is uh, uh, an, an integral part of the other as well. So with that intention, we try to address or bring out the problems that are involved in social and political philosophy subsequent to the ethics, ethical problems that we have addressed. And one of the intricate problems that both Western as well as Indian philosophers have been, have engaged with problem of justice. And this problem of justice forms the core part of uh, classical Indian tradition as well as the modern classical western and modern western tradition. Along with these, we would also be discussing the issue of rights and duties, which is of course a very core element within the modern uh, political philosophical discourse. And humanism cannot be avoided when we are talking about social and political philosophy. So this also forms a part of the module within social and political philosophy discourse. The other important debate that existed in the West, modern West especially, is the debate on liberalism and communitarianism. And this forms the last part of social and political philosophy discourse within this course. One of the very important problems or issues that uh, modern uh, world is trying to grapple with is uh, the issue of uh, gender equality. To address this issue within the philosophical domain, we have uh, introduced or we would be introducing the feminist discourse as well gender equality and dignity from Indian perspective as well as Western perspective forms an integral part of this course work and that is how we have uh, almost seven specialized areas of problems within philosophical discourse that we would be discussing course of uh, the development of this course. Dealing with methods and problems is not enough. We also have to concentrate on certain neglected areas, less articulated areas within philosophical discourse. And we have chosen one, of, one such neglected and less articulated area that is contemporary Indian philosophers. And within this contemporary Indian philosophers, we have chosen a certain, a certain, a certain sample uh, of a philosophical thought of uh, philosophers such as uh, uh, Vivekananda and his uh, thought on universal religion, Sarvapal Radhakrishnan, his concept of uh, idealism 
Along with uh, these two thinkers, we have included Dhyandayal Upadhyaya's thought as well as uh, Gandhian conception of uh, Swaraj, which is a very important aspect that modern Indian philosophy has contributed to uh, for the social and political philosophical discourse. And in addition to these thinkers, we have also included a component on uh, nationalism, debate on nationalism between Tagore and Arbindo. As I have mentioned earlier, the theme of this course is methods and problems of philosophy. By this, I don't mean to say that we are going to discuss all the methods uh, that philosophers so far try to uh, develop. And I am also not trying to say that there is only one method that is existent which is specific to West and there is only one method that is specific to uh, each of the traditions of the East or uh, somewhere else. But what I am trying to say is uh, we have to address and we have to accept the methodological pluralism of various traditions that is existent but at the same time we cannot include in this short course all the methods or methodologies of all the traditions. So uh, that is how we have picked up only few methods from India and West, probably one one representative sample of methods of East uh, India as well as West along with various traditions can be can come together in the discourse. In addition to this method methodology, as we understand, there are various problems that are existent in philosophical discourse and obviously we cannot exhaust all the problems that philosophers have grappled with since long, since time immemorial. So in order to uh, limit ourselves, we have restricted our, ourselves to certain problems and specifically to only uh, to address within the Indian context, Indian philosophical context and wherever it is possible, we try to address or include the Western conceptions as well. 